Okay, so welcome to the shop. We're working on a boat. It's October, and my kids think it's time for Halloween. Nah, it's fire prevention month. A time when fire departments all over the country sit back, remember that cow kicking over the lantern and burning down Chicago. So, you know, in the time between, we've realized it's a whole lot easier to prevent a fire than it is to put one out. So, <clears throat> with that in mind, I wanted to do a little video about one of my favorite things, which is a pre-engineered and fixed fire system. Particularly, one of the things I find that is lacking on a lot of these systems, and it's such a wonderful thing, I don't know why everybody doesn't have it. So I'm going to explain why you need one. And what is that thing? It's this. This is a manual pull station for an automatic fire suppression system. So, why do I need a manual pull station on my automatic system? Won't the automatic system just go off automatically? Yeah, 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 it will, eventually. But to talk about why this is so important, the manual side of your automatic system is so important, we need to take a field trip. Let's go get on a boat. Forgot my drink. Okay. Let's do that again. Are we rolling? Okay, so here we are, live on scene. So, to understand why a manual pull station is so important to have, even if you have an automatic system, let's talk a little bit about the way these things function and what can happen under real fire conditions. So here we have our bottle, which is full of our extinguishing agent, liquefied and held under pressure. Up at the top here, we have our head or our nozzle, and on this side, we have a pressure switch that will, in the event the bottle is discharged, either automatically or manually, this pressure switch will activate the engine shutdown system. Right here we have a gauge, which will tell us that the bottle is or is not pressurized. And on this side, you can see here, this is a manual pull cable. So this setup does have a manual pull station. It's really nicely done, I like it. Okay, up at the top of the bottle here, uh, there will be a device of some sort. And what that will do is it will release the, con the extinguishing agent in the bottle at a predetermined temperature. Usually about 175 degrees Fahrenheit. That is, the area right here around the head of this bottle must reach 175 degrees Fahrenheit before this device, uh, in this case it's a uh, little glass vial with a chemical in it, that will basically break and allow the plug in the top of the bottle to come out and it'll discharge the contents into the engine room, smother the fire, hopefully. <coughs> okay, so what can happen during a fire conditions in the engine room is, well, what you don't see off just out of frame here, there's two big diesel engines. There's a big diesel generator just behind my camera here. We also have engine room blowers port and starboard. Now, if we have a fire in this space, let's say we have a fire that begins up there at the far end of the engine room. Well, that fire could be raging, but these engines, they're bringing in so much cold, cooler air in from outside to, they're just, just bringing massive amounts of air from outside. And while they're bringing that air in, they're also carrying a lot of the heat and the smoke out of the engine room and sending it out the exhaust. So what can happen is we can have a fire raging up front. Right here, we are still relatively cool. And we haven't reached a temperature point where this bottle will discharge automatically. So we could be operating our boat. The first indication that there's a fire in here will probably be smoke from the exhaust. Uh, and then we recognize, oh, well, there's a fire on the boat. And if we're waiting for our automatic system to discharge, uh, we'll just have to wait for the fire to get worse before this will, will discharge automatically. But in the case of a manual pull station, once you recognize that a fire has started on board, it's a matter of pull the pin, pull the lever, that discharges the bottle, which in turn activates our pressure switch, activates our engine shutdown system, 
it shuts the engines and the generator down and hopefully puts out a small fire because uh, well small fire you know on a boat there's really no such thing as a small fire it's a small fire is like a small leak or a little bit pregnant there's just no such thing any fire on the boat is a big fire but we want to deal with it in the early stages so when we recognize that there's a fire we can put it out with our manual station instead of waiting for the fire to grow for it to get hotter still in here and this bottle to discharge automatically Okay, so here we are at the end of the video. Time for the uh, uncut, unrated bonus footage. So we've established that a manual pull station is a very important thing to have, even in an automatic system. So check it out on your boat. If you've got one, that's great. If you don't, get one. Uh, one of the point to make here is if you do have one on board, find the thing and let me uh, carry you with me here and show you what I mean because there's nothing in the world that says let's see are we in the shot all right we're in the shot okay. there's nothing in the world that says that a manual pull station has to go any particular spot it can go anywhere it's going to work so in this particular boat I went and looking for that uh, pull station and I found it right here here we are at the door going into the engine room there's our pull station up here in the corner just outside the engine room door. It's a beautiful installation because you can come down, you can look through the window, and if you see there's a fire condition in there, you can operate this out here safely. Uh, these could be anywhere in the boat. Uh, I've seen them on aft decks. I've found them in transom lockers. I've seen them at upper helms, lower helms, and the best one I think I've ever seen was in the galley on a shelf above the microwave behind the plant potted plants and the cereal boxes so you know and in that case it, you know if, if you didn't know it was there you know you, you, who would think to look behind the lucky charms and the cheerios to find the pull station so it's up to you to know where this is on your boat and how to use it because it's an important thing so keep working on your boat see you next time